Hey guys, I am Satish V. Today in this video, I am going to teach the program Bubble Sort and its way of execution. Hello guys, this is a program Bubble Sort. Before getting take into Bubble Sort, we will know the basics first. So DB, DB means that is defined bit. It contains, it can store or allows to 8 bit. This is DW, DW defines defined word. So this can store up to 16 bit. So in the processor, it will store like 8 bit so 7820H it will store in each and every location each location can take up to 8 bit so DB is defaultly 8 bit so it takes each value 8 8 bits so every new value will be stored in each and every location so in case of data word it takes 16 bit so therefore each location contains 8 bit only so we will take two locations to store the defined word so in order to store 78 H, we need to store it as 0078 and for 20H we will store it as 0020 so therefore every new value we will be getting it as in every second location so it's according to this first location it has 00 and next value it stored it's a, stored as stored in 02 there are general purpose registers like AX accumulating purpose and BX for base address CX and DX we will be using for storing address or data or any such such kind of data so AX of 16 bit and is further divided into AH and AL that is A high and A low so AH contains 8 bit and AL contains 8 8 bits so AX is equal to then AH plus AL so if you store in example if you store AH is equal to 10H and AL is equal to 20H then automatically AX will be equal to 10020H so that's just all about general purpose registers and whatever we write in the program code that, that is instructions under data whatever under dot data whatever we write here it stores in the data segment and the offset address, offset address will be stored in SI SI index register so in the same way code segment will be um, the codes will be stored in code segment and the index register will be instruction pointer in the same way stack segment will be stored as all sub programs will be stored in stack, stack segment and any extra which is not available in DS will be stored in extra segment and the index register will be DI that is destination index so these are the basic stuff we need to know about and in the program we will we'll use loop some some stuff and for that loop how it works is we need to ask if the loop should if the loop, loop should get sorry um, in order to exec execute the loop instruction, there should be CX value should be greater than zero. So if you, if for example, if CX value is something like five, so loop instruction will be executed for five times, and every each execution of the loop, CX will be decremented by one. So we you'll get to know after explanation of this program. So let's get into the bubble sort program now. Now bubble sort program every program will start with dot model something in this case it has been as dot model small small means we can use two segments that is code segment and stat segment in this case we will use code segment and um, data segment so that's why we have written small tiny means we can use any one segment in the same way there are many other and dot stack dot stack means anything we under write under dot stack will it will get stored into stack segment in here we will use of little bit of stack operation so we have used as dot stack operation also so so that we will use the assist um, stack segment to dot data under that whatever you wrote will be stored in data segment here we will assign values or like if you see in program codes we will uh, assign variables in the same way we will use we will uh, we'll also assign variables in under data segment so if you in this case list list is the label name so under list we will create an array there are 5 values of list so what we will do is here in the data segment we will create 5 locations of list and we will store the same corresponding value whatever you are writing here will be stored in list here so next is count count is also a label and it contains 0 5 value that is equ data um, equal to 0 5h so here under count will be 
assigned and it will store as 0 in, and it contains 0 5 h here you can see data board so data board means it contains two locations so therefore we'll use two locations for each data so 70601021055 so we will assign the value as 00700060002 and correspondingly we will assign the values and these are the dead, um, address offset addresses uh, which is stored under data segment since we are using data segment then index register will be stack um, source index okay so next is dot code dot code means under whatever you write under the dot code will be stored in code segment that is we usually write instructions for the program to execute so for the first instruction move com mov means it's move command so add data this is a data segment add data means the starting address of the data segment will be moved to ax register so therefore ax register will, will have some data segment something like effective address plus offset address so this effective address will store in ax register and from ax next next instruction and from ax it's stored in ds so ds will contain the same uh, effective address so next is count minus 1 so what is the count value here 5 so 5 minus 1 is 4 and that value will be stored in dx so therefore dx is equal to 4 so next is it's again a label again 0 so that's again a label so anywhere in the program if you call again 0 the execution starts from this line so if you see move cx comma dx so every time in, in, in an instruction the source will be at the right side and the destination portion will be on the left side so dx what is the dx value here 4 so 4 will be stored in cx now so therefore cx is equal to 4 and next instruction move si comma offset of list so offset of list means in the list we have assigned some values right an array so offset means the starting address of the list will be stored in si so what is the starting address of this list is 0 0 so si will become 0 0 now so si is equal to 0 0 si will be pointing to the starting address of the list now next label is again 1 in that move ax comma bracket of si so every time if any um, index register will be covered in bracket means that becomes an address so if you write like this the value contained in that address will be accessed and it will be moved or added or whatever we according to the instruction given so in this case we have written move command so address of si 00 under the 00 value contained 0070 so that will be assigned to ax register so ax is equal to 0070 now next cmp means cmp means comparing comparing ax comma si plus 2 so what is si si is pointing to 00 so si plus 2 is 0 2 so bracket of si is 0060 so comparing ax ax is 0070 and si is 0 2 is uh, si plus 2 is 0060 so both values will be compared and see the next instruction it is jl jl means jump is now jl jl is jump lesser so if this value ax every time it will see checks the value of ax not on the it will always check the value um, value of destination portion not on the source portion so according to this jump, which is greater is 70 lesser is 60 so ax is greater not lesser so if it is lesser it will jump to jlp1 so in this case it is greater so jl won't, won't get executed and it will get into next instruction so here xcsg means exchange operation so it will exchange this value to here and this value to here so ax value was 0070 and si plus 2 will become now 0070 so in this case we will write 0070 si plus 2 at si plus 2 it will become 0070 and ax will become 0060 which is the value of si plus 2 already now next instruction is exchange si comma ax now ax value is 0060 that is assigned to si so si will become 0060 so si here is here is si so now here is 0060 and ax will be ax value will be 0070 which was before was si value the next instruction is add si comma 02 so 02 will be added to si so si will become 
0 2 before it was 0 0 so si now becomes 0 2 so si will be pointing here now and the remaining values will be same so now loop again 1 so loop again 1 means it goes to loop here and before cx value was 4 now after looping the cx value becomes this decrementer and it becomes to 3 now again same process continues as it is si will be assigned to ax so right now si value is 0, 0, 0070 0. so ax will be 0, 0, 0070 0. so now next instruction is comparing ax comma si plus 2 so ax value is 0, 0, 0070 0, and si plus 2 value if you check it out here it was 0, 0, 0020 0, same value as before so si was pointing here now after that plus 2 is points to 0, 04 so si plus 2 value is 0, 0, 0, 0002 so we are comparing 0, 0, 007 to 0, 02 0, 0, 002 so ax will just in this case also is greater so jump lesser loop will won't get executed and it will go to next execution so this won't get executed so it goes to exchange operation so exchange again takes place ax was before was 0, 0, 7, 0. so that becomes si plus 2 value get exchanged here like this you can see it was exchange exchanged and at si plus 2 value it becomes 0, 0, 7, 0. so at si value 0, 0, 7, 0. So next is again exchange si comma ax so before ax was 0, 0, 0, 2, it came here and si value was it came here it was get exchanged and again if you check it at si it becomes 0, 0, 0, 2. So at SI it becomes 0, 0, 0, 2 and remaining values are all the same. Now next value is add SI and increment again by 2. So before the SI was 0, 2, now SI is 0, 4. So now SI is pointing at 4th four, location. SI is here now, right now. And then again loop occurs, loop again 1. So loop goes to CX is equal, again it after the loop ex get executed again 1 cx is decremented by 1 so cx is equal to 2 so again same process occurs and then ax is 0, 0, 0070 0. as per if you see the instruction is si value at si it is 0, 0, 0070 0. so ax is equal to 0, 0, 0070 0. and compares compares with si plus 2 and ax so ax is 0, 0, 0, 0002 oh, i'm sorry uh, ax is 0, 0, 0070 0. and si well, si plus 2 is 0, 0 one zero same as before we are comparing here again the same thing ha happens here that is ax is greater so jl won't get executed and goes to next instruction and the exchange occurs so same thing happens this value comes here and this value goes there and same thing again happens so ax will become this and si will become this so at si it becomes zero zero one zero so at si this becomes zero zero one zero and at si plus two from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. so after that again si gets incremented and after, then again loop occurs so again cx is decremented by 1 again the si value will be assigned to ax so right now si is um, 0, 06 right so si will be here and ax value will become again same uh, 0, 0, 0070 0. and again the comparison occurs like see si plus 2 is here and same value 0, 0, 0055 5. right and so so 0, 0, 0070 0 and 0, 0, 0055 5 get compared and again same thing occurs ax is greater so jl won't get executed and again the exchange happens so again at si plus 2 it's 0, 0, 0070 0. so again at si plus 2 is 0, 0, 0070 0, and si value is 0, 0, 0055 5. 0, 5, 5. and again si gets incremented and again si will become 0, 8 now right now at loop at loop again before cx was 1 now cx is equal to 0 so why after becoming 0 that loop instruction won't get executed so it goes to next instruction so decrement dx so after decrement dx dx was 4 so after decrementing dx it becomes dx is equal to 3 so the next instruction is j n z again 0 that is jump not equal to if jump jump occurs when it is not equal to 0 so it yeah dx value is 3 so it is not equal so it jumps to again 0 now 
so here it is again zero so again the same loop occurs here so again the value uh, dx value will be assigned to cx that is dx was 3 and cx is uh, equal to 3 and then offset of list offset of list again is 0 so sa will be assigned to 0 and again the same loop occurs till for 3 times before yes, cx was 4 times now cx is 3 times so loop occurs for 3 times and then again dx is decremented by 1 and till dx is equal to 0 this will this loop occurs and every time we check it here when cx is equal to 4 so every time we'll use this value to compare the with the other values so there are totally 5 values we are using one value to compare the other values so remaining is 4 values so we are giving cx is equal to 4 so next time it is 3 next time is equal to 2 next time is 1 like this is a process of bubble sort and that's that's what you are executing in um, assembly level language that's the end of the program please subscribe to my channel to get more videos don't be like me not studying at all <laughs> and thank you for listening see you in next video see ya and have fun